Okay, here's what I'm doing today at work. Uh, you can see that blue tube going in the end of that chiller. Uh, it's a chiller for chilling water, which we cool the hospital with. Um, there on the ground is the brush that's attached to the end of the cable that's running in that blue tube. And there is the machine that drives the cable. It's got water hooked in on the top of it there, the blue cable on the bottom. Uh, the brush is sticking out the back of the chiller right now and when you push on the foot pedal it begins to rotate it spins forward and reverse uh, So when you push on the foot pedal Right now I'm going to push on the left side which is reverse and that brush is going to start withdrawing out of the barrel uh, It's going to take me a second to get there. There I go um, You don't have to pull it or push it. It just it self feeds that's how you know when to change the brush is when it quits self-feeding then you'll go ahead and change the brush and that machine's pretty loud i hope you can hear over the top of it and we're feeding it back in now there's 300 of those tubes to do on this chiller and this is our little guy the larger chillers have between six and seven hundred tubes in those and they are about three foot longer barrels this barrel is about 11 foot long so they take pretty much all day. This one takes about, depends on how diligent you are with it, three to four hours to run all 300 tubes on this little guy. Um, it's pretty hard on your back just leaning down. It's not hard work by any means. You're just feeding the cable through your hands and pushing the foot pedal. But as you start getting down toward the bottom and start having a lean, it does take a toll on your back and gets to be you're pretty sore at the end of the day in the lower back, at least I am. But that's one of the benefits of getting old, I guess, is to get a feel that you did some work during the day. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today.